you very much. Let's, let's hold, we got a couple numbers and then we'll oh. do that, okay? Thank you, sorry for the, our program's not starting yet, but have a seat. Apologies, here we go.
Gonna take a sentimental journey Gonna put my mind at ease Gonna take a sentimental journey To renew old memories Got my bag, got my reservation Spent each dime I could afford like a child in wild anticipation I long to hear that all aboard Seven, that's the time we leave at seven I'll be waiting up in heaven Count every mile of the railroad track That takes me back be so yearning why did I decide to roam gonna take a sentimental journey a sentimental journey home sentimental journey Good afternoon and welcome to this Veterans Day musical celebration. For those of you I haven't had the opportunity to meet yet, my name is Jennifer Shaw. I am pastor here at St. John's Lutheran Church and we are delighted to be hosting this very special event. Before we get started, I wanted to thank John McGuyan and the choir and the musicians. I want to thank uh, Boy Scout Troop 1701 for being here with us. I want to thank Laura Stavi and our audiovisual team and all of our volunteers here at St. John's. I want to thank again all of you for being here. Most of all, I want to thank our veterans. Thank you for your service. This day is for you. The celebration is for you. One more program note before we get started. We are live streaming this event. You can find it on our YouTube channel, uh, St. John's Lutheran Church Palm Desert, also our website, St. Lutheran's Church, uh, St. John's Lutheran Church. And uh, after the service is over, you can go back and share it with your family and friends. So once again, thank you to our veterans. Let's open this event in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for your presence with us here and now and always. We give you thanks for our veterans. We give you thanks for the freedoms we have and which they devoted themselves to protect. We give you thanks for their example of courage, dedication, and dignity. We pray for our veterans. May they be strengthened and sustained by you in their journeys. We pray for the families and friends of those who gave their lives in service. May they feel the comfort of your presence as they remember their loved ones. We pray for those currently serving in our armed forces at home and abroad. May they experience your protection and guidance. We ask your blessing on us all. May we honor the sacrifice of those we celebrate today by continuing to work for justice and peace. And may we look forward in hope to the day when war will be no more, when peace will come for all, when your will is done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. All rise and join in the presentation of the United States Colors. Color Guard, attention. Color Guard, advance.
Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, one second, please. We're going to have the national anthem first. Come on, gentlemen, come on over here. Please remain standing as we sing our Pledge of Allegiance for you. dismissed. You may be seated. <clears throat> well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is John McGuyan. And uh, I'm very pleased to uh, be able to participate in this wonderful celebration event, of course, honoring our veterans, honoring our country, and also the wonderful heritage of music that have been written over the years in honor of our veterans and, and our wonderful country of freedom, of peace, of, of so much that we love about it, and it's all in words and music. And uh, we're gonna start our program off with our national, it's a national hymn, it's called God of Our Fathers.
wonderful to be able to work with a chorus like that. Just don't get to hear that every day. Next is a uh, My Country Tis of Thee of America. And we're going to ask you to sing along on our last verse, OK? I think you know the words, so <laughs> you have a big part on this. I'll, I'll cue you. segment of songs are from different periods of different times of conflict. This one is called Tenting on the Old Campground, and it was a Civil War song that was popular on both sides, both sides, North and South, Tenting on the Old Campground.
tintings tonight, tintings tonight, tinting on the old campground. We're tinting tonight on the old campground. Give us a song to cheer. How weary hearts a song of hope and prayer. that are weary tonight, wishing for the war to cease. Many are the hearts that are looking for the right to see the dawn of peace. Tenting tonight, tenting tonight, tenting on the old cow. Tenting tonight on the old campground, thinking of days gone by, of the loved ones at home that gave us the hand and the tear that said goodbye. Many are the hearts that are weary tonight, wishing for. We move on to World War I and George M. Cohen's Over There.
here's, a, here's one you usually hear just by a band. And we're, we have our band, wonderful group here. Nice to have you with us again. The Stars and Stripes Forever. We're going to sing the words with that, so you don't get a chance to hear that too often. Dismiss the choir for a few songs. They get a little break from standing this whole time. And uh, we are going to have a band number. We're going to play American Patrol. It was made famous by the Glenn Miller Band. And of course, Glenn Miller um, interrupt. I mean, had a you know, star career with number one hits and the top band in the country. And he joined the service during World War II. 
and mm -hmm. to entertain the troops, and then eventually lost his life in a plane crash, but serving our country. So we honor Glenn Miller here today as well. Jack Poster on trumpet there, Jack Poster. <laughs> All right, now we're at the World War II era, and uh, we're going to invite our own version of the Andrew sisters up here.
We're just m missing the uniforms, that's all. Gals, that's just as good as it was 60 years ago. <laughs> better, better, that's right. Better. Well, we're spanning all kinds of, of, of eras. Uh, this one is going to be uh, a newer patriotic number. It's been around 25 years, and, and I'm going to let my friend Chris Sands to introduce it. Chris? Well, this was the 90s and the Iraq conflict, and we needed all the patriotism we could get. And uh, a gentleman by the, way, the name of Lee Greenwood introduced this. This is God Bless the USA.
across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, and New York to L.A., we are proud of all the American hearts, and it's time to stand and say. Thank you, Chris. At this time, as the choir enters, we are going to take an offering for uh, this evening, and we this is this is going to certainly uh, pay for the costs of this event. Plus, we are we are going to. Um, give 30% of today's offering will go to the ELCA Chaplaincy Training Program. And checks may be made out to St. John's, if you would like. So uh, please support that worthy cause and uh, support this program that honors our veterans. Thank you. And we're going to have our band uh, doing a little, little music for you this time from back to World War II era.
to have this good-looking group back up here in their red, white, and blue. Very colorful group. Uh, a lot of the music that we are performing, there's Glenn Miller stuff, a lot of the arrangements are actually from, very, from two very prominent musicians, very patriotic and desert residents, former, uh, a lot of them were from Fred Waring and the show. I spent five years with that organization touring with them. So did Chris Sands. And we also have some arrangements by Johnny Mann, or Johnny Mann Singers. And Johnny was a resident of Desert, lived at Sun City. Fred Waring lived at Bermuda Dunes. And so they won uh, many, were honored by the country with many awards and for their contributions to music and to our country. So, um, we have a, a couple of Fred Waring arrangements written by Irving Berlin. Now, now Irving Berlin uh, certainly had wrote a song that could very well be our national anthem also, God Bless America. Very, very beloved song. And then we have another one right after that. I'll tell you a bit about it.
Thank you very much. We'll have you sing a little bit of America the Beautiful on this next piece. I think you know the words. It's your turn to sing again. I, I heard this this uh, story sitting in the back of the bus, back of the bus on the Waring show, and he brought a whole bunch of uh, music, Irving Berlin did, to Fred Waring's office in New York, and Irving Berlin had a <coughs> keyboard that had a gear shift on it. He only played on the black keys, so if he wanted to change keys, he just cranked the shift to a different key. So he had to travel with his his piano. 
And it, back in those days, when, when composers had a new song, prior to just putting it on a radio or, or putting it on a record, um, they, they would bring songs to Fred Waring to premiere on their TV show or radio show. And then there was, a, there was a song at the back of the stack, and he said, I just put this little ditty together, Irving Berlin saying, and I, I've lived in New York for many years, and I'd never been to the Statue of Liberty. So I was, he, he saw the poem and was deeply moved by it, and he brought that song to Mr. Waring, and he thought it was terrific. He said, well, you can have it. You can just have it. And he said, no, I got a better idea. Let's give it to the Boy Scouts. And all the proceeds that go from this song will go to the Boy Scouts. So it was nice that we had the Boy Scouts bring in the flags. So I'm going to ask our narrator, Mr. Jim Warland, radio personality in Los Angeles and in the desert, to recite the poem for you. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name, Mother of Exile. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed, to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door.
right, Jim, Mr. Jim Warland again. Jim? Yes, this new nation and its people were free. But freedom takes sacrifice. And it's the men and women of the armed forces who make that sacrifice for all of us. Some of them have paid with their lives in places like Valley Forge, the Alamo, Guadalcanal, Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. I'm going to ask that all of those who are actively serving in our armed forces and their families, and all of the veterans and their families who are here today, please stand so that we can recognize you, as well as all of the veterans who are in our choir, please raise your hand. And as a small part of this grateful nation, may we thank these gallant men and women. May we thank them for their gallant efforts, for the sacrifice that they've made for freedom that we all enjoy. This then is our salute to the armed forces of the United States of America. These brave men and women who prove that though it may be costly, freedom is worth the price.
all. Thank you all. Well, this is, sure has been a lot of fun for us, and we hope you have enjoyed it just as much as we have. Uh, I, again, I'd like to thank Pastor Jennifer, and I would like to thank Laura Stave for so much hard work on coordinating this event. Thank you, Laura. Laura's been here for 25 years, she was telling me. That's quite a run. <laughs> We'd like to close our program now uh, with uh, a couple of numbers. And the finale is Glory Hallelujah, His Truth is Marching On. We would like you to join us at the end. Watch for your cue. I'll bring you in, okay? <laughs> God bless America. God bless you that have served us. We thank you for coming this evening. States of America has always been one nation under God. The Revolutionary War gave birth to a new and free country founded on freedom of religion, freedom for all people to worship God in their own way. In a world where human rights and personal freedom are principles that most people only dream about, we are proud to be Americans, living in one mighty nation under one almighty God.
thank you to this wonderful choir, chorus. Thank you to our band. And thank you all for coming out here. We appreciate you being here. Thank you.